I got in some more cases, so I'm going to do a part three. Uh, if you see part one and part two, you'll see that I reviewed over 20 Note 7 cases. I really want to go over something that I've been using on the Note 5 uh, as well as the S7, which is a way to disable a lot of the bloat to expand your battery life without having to trip Knox. So what you're going to do is go into the Play Store and you're going to download an app called Package Disabler Pro. So that's Package Disabler Pro. You see that right there. So then when you install the app, it's usually about $2. Sometimes you can get it on sale for a little cheaper. You're going to open it and you're going to select Enable Admin. It's going to ask you to, if you want to activate uh, the ability to manage applications. So you're going to click Activate. And then it's going to log you in. Go ahead and click to confirm. And it's going to make sure that the, li the license is activated. Now the thing about TouchWiz is that it is bloat. It's gotten a lot better, but there's still a whole bunch of, well, maybe not a whole bunch, but there's still some, you know, Samsung apps that are loaded onto the phone that you don't want to use or even carrier apps that you don't want to use. So what this is going to do is this is going to open up the um, open up all your processes or your packages and then from here you can just click ones that you want to turn off. You could actually click on the three bars and then click on disable all bloatware. It's going to ask you to confirm and then if you click yes it's going to um, stop all bloatware from running on your phone which will make your battery last longer. Now when you do um, in a, disable all bloatware it disables things like Google Hangouts which I need for work so what I like to do is actually just select the ones that I want to turn off. So I just go up so like all share I'm not really going to use that Ant, I'm not using any of those services or that app. And you'll notice that a lot of the bloatware, it's in pink, so you know that it's um, bloat. Apps aren't in pink, but you can still shut them off. So like Flipboard, I never use Flipboard because I get all my news through uh, Google Alerts anyways. So I'm going to click that. And then you just scroll down. Car mode, not going to use that. And then you just keep going down and you'll see all these in pink that you can turn off. You do want to be careful about um, selecting some of these because you might find that you actually do need that app for something that you use. So you might have to go back and forth between turning something on and turning something off and going back. But like this um, font right here, I'm not going to use that cool jazz font. So I can turn that off. So you just go straight down, disable any bloat that you don't want to use, and then you hit the three bars. And then you can either refresh or you can um, enable the ones that you've disabled. So all the ones that I disabled, I'm going to click this. And now it's going to turn it back on. So notice I had initially uh, disabled 10 items on the phone, but now those are back on. So if I go back up, yeah, so if I go back up like all share, you'll notice that it's turned back on. Some people do choose to um, just do it from the settings in Android because you can give apps certain permissions, but I don't think that lets you shut off something like all share. I may be wrong, but for me, this app's been great. Um, used it on my Note 5, used it on my S7, really um, let me cut out a lot of the bloat, cut out things that I never use without tripping knocks and without rooting the phone. So I really like it. So uh, if that's something you're interested in, it's, it's called Package Disabler Pro.